Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be finishing up the bears that we've been working on. We've been working on these little bears. Um, we didn't carve them start to finish. We kind of just started with eyes and that was the first video. Second video we worked on the expressions, kind of doing um, eyebrows and working on the nose and the mouth. From very, very basic all chainsaw to adding some power tools and adding different details for different styles and different looks you know his mouth's open with a smile this guy's got a tongue hanging out so anyway today we're going to look at finishing these bears now there's only really two types of finish and one's going to be using a torch and as a final finish and the other will be using some paint so tools you're going to need though for you know each one uh basic finishing a stiff bristle brush and some kind of torch these propane torches work they just take longer or i have a torch that runs off a 20 gallon tank now this first bear we will use just this torch the rest i might use the other one because it burns hotter for the sake of time in the video um the next tool i'll be using is a drill with a sandoflex this is an extension i've been working on and the sandoflex has some refills that i've been working on as well Hoping to get together with my guy here this summer and see if we can't get a little production going for those items. Because I know some of you are interested. Um, and as far as paint goes, just some kind of black spray paint. Now, there are times I use my airbrush and I'll use an exterior black uh, paint. Thin it down and use the airbrush to paint. Again, for the sake of the video and time, we won't be doing that today. So... Let me get this camera up on the shoulder and we'll get started in just a minute. But before we do, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and hit subscribe, right guys? When you do hit the bell, hit all and turn on your YouTube notifications so you guys don't miss any future uploads. Also, I have a playlist with tutorials and another one that says beginner tutorials. So there's a lot of stuff. Show you guys how to carve bears, how to carve, carve a lot of different things. We've got time-lapse videos, rustic furniture, carving with Bob on Wednesdays. There's a, there's a bunch of stuff, so be sure to check out the playlists here. Also, big shout out to those of you that are members. You help support the channel directly, and I really, really do appreciate it. Without too much more uh, introduction chit-chatting, let's, uh, let's start finishing these guys up. All right, guys, so there is one other thing I forgot to mention. And that's going to be the clear coat we're going to use. Now, I pretty much always use the same brand, but near the end of the video, I'll kind of go over those and uh, discuss it with you. So first things first, you know, here's this bear. You guys, you want to have a fire extinguisher, a bucket of water, something like that on hand. You also want to have your gas cans away from where you're going to burn. Um, I'm just keeping this under the tent. Again, for sake of video, you guys will see me do this a lot, but... This is dry sawdust. It's very flammable, okay? So if you can, take these out to the driveway, put them on a cinder block so you don't, you know, torch your driveway or anything. So they're up off the ground. Burn your bears there. Um, sometimes I'll take them out in the grass if I have a lot to do, and I will put down a couple cinder blocks and stack them up and put the small bears on top and burn them. One, you don't have to bend down. Two, you're not burning the lawn or anything else up. So just keep all that in mind, okay? Now, for this guy, like I said, we're going to use this brush. It's a good idea to have a dust mask on as well because we're going to create quite a bit of dust after we burn. Now, I try not to darken the snout too much, but we want to burn all these fuzzies off. And this is why we have to be careful about a fire starting because these are going to drop to the ground and fall off. So be paying attention to uh, what you're doing.
All right, so that was real time burning using this. It does take a little bit of time. At the same time, this went quick in the scheme of how fast this torch burns because these bears, these blocks that they were carved from were blocked out about two, three weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. So they've been drying, right? So they dried for a few days. Then I blocked out the bears. We did, you know, then I said, well, let's do a video on eyes. So then I sat a few more days. We did eyes, had a few more days, did the snout, you know. So there's been almost two, two and a half weeks from start to now. So a lot of the moisture is gone and they burn much, much easier. Now, when we burn the next one with the bigger torch that I use, I'll do that one real time. After that, we'll just, you know, time lapse it because it's ridiculous. So anyway, you take your stiff bristle brush now and you got to go around your bear and brush all over because the black soot comes off you don't want that especially when you go to finish if you finish with a brush and you're brushing your finish on you're just going to smear that stuff all over the place your finish isn't going to stick well and it's a pain in the butt so just go around and brush it kind of blends it tones it back to a brown burnt color that looks pretty good Again, I don't always do a lot of brown colored bears. I will only do a few and those few will sell because there's not a ton. Yeah, where I live, people like black bears. So we do a few brown just for something different and uh, you know, mostly black bears though. So there that is, he's brushed down. Now if you got some, something, blow it off. Having the ability to blow the carving off is really good, whether it's compressed air or a leaf blower or some kind of blower to just remove the excess, you know, loose debris, sawdust, all that kind of stuff. Now, this bear is done. Not doing anything else with him. All right, other than a sign. Um, I don't think I have any signs cut. Let's see. Whoop, right here. Quick sign, it's not even sanded yet. Boom, just a quick welcome sign, okay? And all this is the scrap wood from some pallets that I had, and I carved them in using a router, hit it with black spray paint. Now when I get time, I gotta go back and just sand it off, and this guy will be, this guy will be complete. He'll be ready to go. Let's grab the next one, this burr. All right, so now we're gonna use the little bit bigger torch. Before I start burning though, I do hit them with the air. Just to remove any loose debris. This setup is called, this is called the turbo torch with the 20 pound tank. Um, these are pretty expensive in the scheme of torches, but I'll link it below. Uh, like I normally do in videos, you guys follow those links through Amazon. You purchase through those links and they help support the channel. Very, very little, but it's still greatly appreciated. Now there is more control with this torch. I don't get as much overburn on the base. Burns a bit hotter. I mean, we still get overburn, but not as much as the other torch because it has a much finer tip. Now, when you buy this kit, it comes with two of these heads that can go in and out. This is a small one. There is a much larger one, about as big around as your, your finger or your thumb. And uh, that one will give you a wider spread on the flame. Not bad for bigger bears and things like that. Now some guys use like the weed burner torches and stuff. That's fine too, but you don't want to do that in a confined space like this. That's why I don't use it. I also don't like, I don't have a ton of control on that flame as it's just a big 
burly flame coming out and you just hit the whole piece all at once. So it's just kind of preference, you know? The one I'm talking about, you guys can probably get like 50, 60 bucks at Home Depot. Uh, this right here, as humbly as I can say, is about 300, 350 dollars for this torch setup I'm using right now. The one we used on the last video, you know, you're probably $50 purchase. Something like that. 30, 40, 50 bucks. I don't quite remember that last one I've had for quite a while. Um, and that last one is a uh, TS-8000. Burns Omatic TS-8000, and that works really well. Like I said, if you wanna see what torches I'm using, guys, just go to the description under the video. It'll be a drop box, drop it down, you guys will see, I'll have Amazon links. All right guys, so this guy is just about done. Now we're not gonna use the brush. All right, we're gonna use the Sandoflex, and we'll use the Sandoflex after this bear from here on out. Why? Because it's a time saver. Big time saver buying a Sando Flex and having it on a drill. Does the job as the brush, and you're not gonna wear out your joints from brushing a million bears. And well, if you buy a good drill, it usually lasts a while, so. All right, set this aside. This bear, I don't have any made, but he'll get a sign that says go away instead of welcome. And that'll go with his whole attitude, so. Here's a Sando Flex on a Dewalt drill. Links to these things in the description. This is an extension shaft that I am working to get production on. And there's a refill in here that I'm working to get a production kind of thing done so that we can have a few of these for sale for you guys this summer. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's been tough trying to connect and, and get it all worked out, but we're working on it. So you take the Sando Flex and just go over the whole piece. All right, so that made quick work of brushing him down. Now, if you wanna have him have the burn look, you can get your torch back out and go back over it lightly. We're just gonna grab the little quick torch here. You know, reburn his nose. Hit those super light spots. All right, so there he is, second brown bear. Now the other two will be black. There is one really big important thing I forgot to mention in any of the videos working on these bears. Guys, put your initials in there. It's your art, whether it comes out good, bad, ugly, doesn't matter, put your initials in your work.
doesn't have to be anything super crazy. Just initial it, initial your work. Be proud of what you're doing. Turn him around, dust that off. All right. All right, guys, so the next two bears are gonna be finished pretty much the same way. We're gonna use the bigger torch and then we're gonna move into paint. So I'm gonna time lapse through the torch. We'll stop, we'll chat, and then we'll time lapse, you know, get into using that black paint. So let me get these guys burned up real quick and uh, see you in a minute. All right, so I stopped. Something I wanted to go over real quick. If the wood is dry before you burn, you guys can go over it with the Sandiflex and get rid of all the fuzzies. That will down or lessen the risk of pieces floating off and starting a fire somewhere else. So the nice thing with the Sandoflex guys is it rounds any hard edges as well. And it gives your bear more of a cuddly or realistic look so he has no hard edges. Now let's go ahead and we'll hit this guy with the torch. All right, he's all sanded, now he's ready for some paint. I'm just using whatever was on sale or had available right now. It's just a can of Krylon Black. Um, it is a good idea to grab a piece of cardboard or something like that. That scrap cardboard usually works best. You can put it down here so you don't get too much overspray. Shake your paint up real good beforehand. Keep it close. And work your way up your piece. Usually I just kind of mist it on. I don't make them like super perfectly dark black. Cost of paint is through the roof. Custom orders I will though. Custom orders I paint really really thoroughly these are just going to be like craft fair sales and honestly sometimes people really do enjoy the highlights of some of that brown showing through so you don't always have to paint it just you know jet black i do the eyes though make sure they're good and solid now that tongue probably won't get it on video but that tongue you'll hand paint You'll hand paint, get like an acrylic red or something in a brush and just paint it red or pink or whatever you want. Up here you come in, work your way across. 
you gotta be careful. And I leave the sides brown, tan, burnt color. That's it. Touch up wherever you wanna touch up. Make sure you finish going around your piece. <laughs> that usually helps. Remember, we're going to talk about finish after I get that next bear done. What kind of finish to use over these paints and stuff like that. Now, you can always clean up the paint off there and have the eyebrows be tan as well, but I just don't usually bother with it. Now, once the black paint is dry, you can take a little bit of white and dab it in those eyes, make some pop. They look a little more realistic, but that's totally up to you. So we're going to get this guy out and get the next bear done. Now the next bear, we're gonna pretty much finish it the same way. So I'm just gonna finish this guy completely in high speed so we can talk about finishes, as in clear coat and uh, final finish. So don't go anywhere. Hey guys, so here's all our bears, right? Now we painted his eyes in in the first video, so if they need extra paint to brighten them up, you know, add it. Now's a good time. And while I paint eyes in all the bears, let's talk about finishes. There's a lot of different finishes you guys can use. I prefer to use finish made by Minwax. They have an exterior finish and it's called Helmsman. Now, over the years, I have really preferred the oil-based Helmsman. Uh, Helmsman, Minwax Helmsman comes in a green can, says Minwax, says Helmsman right on it, and that's the oil-based. Now, they now, they've had it out for a little while, and I've always steered clear. I had some bad instances with it in the past, but I've been using it this year with pretty good results. And that is the Minwax Helmsman Acrylic Exterior Finish. Has to say exterior. If you get the one that does not say exterior, you guys, you're going to run into some issues. This guy decided to just kind of paint the very nose black a little bit, but obviously you don't have to. Real quick, these eyes will get some white dots. Those eyes are done. Okay, that's it for black. Now, the oil-based, what I'll do is I'll thin it out. Um... Kind of like, what do I do? One to four. So one part mineral spirits, four part finish in a glass container. Stir it up, brush it on with a cheap brush. Now when it comes to that, I'm really cheap because I'll clean that brush out and use it and use it and use it until it's just no longer usable. Um, obviously that's up to you and what you'd like to do. The acrylic one is a little bit different the acrylic one i spray and i'll spray one to two coats on pieces like this now if it's a big order for somebody a nice tall bear that someone's ordered i will brush it on if you brush it on you have thicker heavier coats you spray it on it still gives you a good finish for bears you're going to sell it like fairs and things so the oil based you know it's more chemicals and things in the air the acrylic is water-based, so that's why I spray it. It's a little bit safer. Um, if you're going to be spraying finishes, though, you need a respirator, not a dust mask, an actual respirator. You go breathing these things into your lungs, and it's just, it's not going to be a good day for you. So just keep that stuff in mind, and, you know, just be safe. I got a little bit too much white. The brush has uh, got too much moisture in it for the paint right now. So I've been trying not to do solid dots, just kind of marking them lightly. Um, these ones are pretty solid. Paint stuck well on me, but that's good enough for now. So there's that, right? The white's done. Um, I wasn't going to, but we can paint the tongue. Really, I hope you guys have enjoyed these videos. Um, hopefully that answered any questions as far as finish. If you guys have questions, ask. If you guys need another specific video for like these little guys, let me know. There is a video specifically carving sign bears, okay? 
I've already made it. I will try to have that popping up here at the top in the corner of the screen. Um, as long as I get my timing right and edited properly, it should be there. If not, it is in the tutorial playlist. So you guys can learn how to carve these. And, you know, if you want more in-depth, come back watch these videos. Now the paint I'm using here is an acrylic, just an acrylic water-based paint. But when I put the finish over it, it'll, you know, protect the colors and things like that. Now, if you have the ability and the money to buy quartz in a quart exterior paint, that's even better because it's going to last longer and be better, you know, more durable for the elements and things for these being outside. But sometimes with certain projects, you end up with a lot of colors and I just don't mess with it. That's it, guys. Hopefully you've got one of these cool looking bears in front of you if you guys want to share your carvings with me you can on facebook look up kyle hall woodworker new carvers there's a bunch of questions you guys have to answer um after you answer all the questions i'll let you in if you don't answer all the questions i deny i do not accept you into the group the reason is i always figure it's just a bot so we have an issue with that in all groups online so you got to answer all those questions if you want to get in you get in there it is everybody that follows me on youtube uh carves and you know has fun and wants to share their work with each other so that's what that's all about hope you guys have enjoyed this video though some of the next videos coming up are going to be me finishing a few carvings i'm working on i've already blocked them i have no footage of that but we're going to finish them together and uh you know we'll do some other fun stuff too in the future but if you're a beginner carver and you need some help with something leave me a comment down below let me know what you need and we'll try to get a video out for it if you guys haven't already give me a thumbs up hit subscribe leave me a good comment thank you to all my member members find some channel merch down below check out those links for tools we've been using and hope you guys have an awesome day see you in the next video bye